my name is Laura, and this is a promotional video to introduce myself to prospective students interested in learning English as a foreign language online. I'm a native English speaker based in Boston, Massachusetts in the United States. As my day job, I'm a PhD student in biomedical engineering at Tufts University, but because I love teaching in languages, I also tutor in English online. Uh, the advantage of the online platform, like one among many, is that it allows us to connect anytime, any place. And what I love about tutoring is that that one-on-one -on -one student tutor relationship really allows us to uh, tailor lessons to meet your needs as a learner. Uh, my teaching style is interactive and conversational, and I incorporate a lot of listening and speaking activities into my lessons. Uh, I have two years of teaching experience as a graduate teaching assistant in biology to undergraduate students at the University of Toronto in Canada, as well as 500 hours of online classroom experience teaching English as a foreign language to children ages 4 through 12. And lastly, I have experience teaching English to adult language learners at a nonprofit organization in Hartford, Connecticut in the United States. Um, so now that you know a little bit about me, I think the best way to demo one of my favorite classroom activities is to read two poems by Ruskin Bond. Uh, I really like poetry. So uh, this is the first one uh, called Butterfly Time. April showers bring swarms of butterflies streaming across the valley, seeking sweet nectar, yellow, gold, burning bright, red and blue, banded white. To my eyes, they bring delight. There is a long and arduous flight here today and off tomorrow, floating on bright butterflies to distant bowers. For nature does things in good order, and birds and butterflies recognize no man-made border. I love that poem. I think it's beautiful. Um, okay, and this next one is also uh, a nature theme. It's called The Trees. At seven, when dusk slips over the mountains, the trees start whispering amongst themselves. They've been standing still all day, but now they stretch their limbs in the dark shifting a little, flexing their fingers, remembering the time when they too walked the earth with men. They know me well, these trees, oak and walnut, spruce and pine. They know my face in the window. They know me for a dreamer of dreams, a world loser, one of them. They watch me while I watch them grow. I listen to their whisperings, their own mysterious diction, and bow my head before their arms and ask for benediction. Okay, so um, typically I'll ask students to explain the meaning of the poems, to identify key vocabulary words, and to discuss what they don't like and th what they like about the poem. Um, so this is just one of the classroom activities that is one of my favorite, um, and I definitely tailor those to what students like the most and feel that they benefit the most from. Um, so I hope this paints a clear picture for you of how I conduct classes and uh, how I am as a teacher. I really appreciate you watching, thank you for your time, and I really look forward to working with you. Bye-bye, take care.